This is a rare occasion when you actually come across a journal entry you wrote a year prior to this year now, on the same day you wrote it, making it an entire one nice, tidy little year increment long to review yourself from then to now. And today, here on June 9th, 2014, I just so happened to find me a journal entry I wrote on June 9th, 2012, two years ago. Let's take a little gander. Quote, quote, this isn't real, is what I just keep lightheartedly, half-jokingly, keep reassuring myself. I know for sure now this sick, emotionally dependent situation I am presently um, seemingly stuck within is a blessing in disguise. Dear God, please don't let this little paddle of mine fail me now, for it's the only shelter I have. Um, to keep me dry uh, and warm in the midst of a dampering, increasingly um, real scary hostile world outside. Why is my right to live free and at peace? Such a conflict here in this exact present moment situation. Why is this relationship with Paul, which, side quote, was a guy who I had only known for less than an hour before I accepted his offer to move in with him because I had nowhere to stay at the time. Um, and he was a psychopath. And I could see that from day number one. So anyways, back to the journal. Here as I live with him, becoming so ever more self-defeating and increasingly unhealthy, dysfunctional, and toxic, as I now find it hard to catch my breath, hyperventilation, I believe, uh, may be a good indicator. I'm not doing so well right now. God knows I really do want nothing more out of this life of mine other than the joyful bliss of becoming uh, my greatest friend rather than my enemy. My skin uh, shit, my handwriting sucks. Like in knowing I know of a better calm a more complete and better way of embracing and cherishing my time here by living the best life I know how to live it. I can remember when I wrote this. And we're in this narrow little kitchen in Paul's tiny ass little studio apartment uh, in SeaTac right off of right by the airport. This kitchen is tiny. It's tinier than a gas station you find at a shell station. Uh, and he's got me boxed in, and he's yapping all his crazy psycho babble. And all I could think to do to maintain my own sanity at that moment was just to keep writing right here. This isn't real. Because I knew that that experience was not really the entirety of everything I knew in the past. 